After everything we've been through, it honestly feels amazing. Not just from a happiness perspective, but from a weight gain perspective to finally have something as substantial as a bag of potato chips. Oh man, normally I keep eating these things to keep my weight up in the main game, but here... Well, here such a thing can actually save your life. If only it worked that way in the real world. Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Project Zomboid, a really CDDA. I never thought I would make it this far to be honest, but our options have opened up. After the very red Christmas we just went through, uh, the neighborhood below us is now mostly clear, and there's some houses full of loot that we can check out. We got a lot of food from them, which means we're going to be in the game for a little while longer. However, some of you have also been pushing me to start messing more with the foraging mechanic, uh, which some of you have reminded me does actually work indoors. So let's uh, investigate this area and see if we can't maybe find something. Now, first of all, it does lead us to stuff that's just around. But I'm pretty sure it can also find, like, other things in the environment that you can't normally spot, right? Of course, this is all much more useful uh, in the woods. We're definitely going to want to get our foraging level up. However, food is not our only concern. These clothes are starting to become absolutely disgusting. And I think I'm going to start in the morning uh, boiling some water so that I can finally clean it and, well, at least not feel so gross in my own skin. Not to mention, we did also, in one of those survivor houses, find a machete. Which means that our capacity to kill has just increased by quite a bit. Now, thankfully, we found it fairly late in the game, uh, which does mean that we're going to be able to apply our uh, maintenance bonuses to keep it around for a while. Oh, but we are so underweight. We definitely need to be eat more than we've been eating. Uh, but unfortunately, this canned food is so risky to eat. You know what? Chug that entire container of ketchup. You're not going to like it, but we got to do what we got to do. You're losing too much weight. We could eat a rotten cabbage as well. Like I said, I I'm told that damage from rotten food is actually applied based on the level of hunger it cures. And so I'm kind of doing this in such a way where I only eat like a little bit at a time, but I do want to work my way through it so that I can spare my better food. Uh, even with this can opener mod, it still doesn't make this canned food all that worth it. I also want to do start making uh, more use of spears because I just think they're so cool. It's actually kind of creepy how desolate we've left this whole area of town. I mean, look at all these corpses and skeletons and ash piles. The burned forest that was once a park. Now, thankfully, the houses didn't suffer the same fate, but I'm hoping that that emptiness will allow us to at least poke our head in for a little while. And before any new guys inevitably move into the neighborhood. Looks like we still do have some folks around. And maybe now would actually not be a bad time to try out that machete, but... And let's not forget, we have gotten pretty proficient with this crowbar. Uh, we're at the point in the game where combat starts getting fun. You know, about a thousand kills in. Ooh, this hoodie is actually in pretty good shape. Maybe we should wear it? Okay. I don't know if that actually gives us any extra protection, but it's like honestly the only like fully intact clothes we have. Oh no, I'm actually nauseous. I really hope this doesn't kill me. Uh, did somebody lie to me? I have Iron Gut. Did somebody lie to me that the damage is based on, like, the amount of hunger that it heals? Because I was told that it shouldn't happen if it's less than 30. How's our health doing? Still looks okay for the most part. And I do have fast healing as well. Oh, wait, I actually hadn't noticed. There's a whole party on the ground right here. Oh, that is so fortunate. Cigarettes, chips, beer. Okay, I don't know if I should be eating right now, and thankfully that is back down to queasy. Uh, maybe it's because I was getting into too much physical activity. I don't think it's going to kill me, but that was a real scare. 
All right, and there is still there is still a zombie smacking around upstairs. End of the hall. Yep. And right here, is that bathrobe intact? That's what I want to know, because I do want a bathrobe. No, of course not. And a dead mouse. Well, I'm not, I don't have the appetite for such things right now, I'm afraid. Let's just be very, very careful. Make sure we cover all angles. Yep, just one. Just had to make sure. There we go. A clearing room is very, very dangerous like this. Ooh, a gun case. What's in it? <gasps> a safety Glock! Okay, well, it has a magazine as well. I think I already have one at home. But we'll definitely be taking that. Yeah, I'm going to eat these chips because we definitely, definitely need to gain weight. And hello, alcohol. I've been so long without you. I don't know what I would do without you. I mean, at this point. Ooh, car battery. And it has condition. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Laceration. Okay, okay, okay. There's a 25% chance that that kills us. We've got to go. We've got to go. Now. Oh, that would be the moment. That would be the moment. Come on. We just need to... We just need to hope. We just need to hope. Uh, we can... We can disinfect with alcohol wipes. Oh, that's right on our neck. That's actually... Or our head. That's very lucky, actually. And, uh, can we stitch it up? No, we just have to bandage it. We have fast healer. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so much. Uh... Ah, oh, I didn't even know they were around here. I mean, I heard them briefly, but it sounded so distant. Okay, that's... Uh, my heart is pounding. This could be the end. 25% chance. There's so much more still moving into this neighborhood. I... I'm gonna be really angry if that really is the end, because it's... Just, we're not even gonna be able to tell, because we have Queasy. That sucks so much. All right, there's still a ton going on around here. I'm gonna try out the machete. If this is to be the end, I wanna do as much as I possibly can. Even though we're panicked, this should still do a fair bit of damage. Of course, it's offset by the fact that we have no experience with Longblade. It just is a very good weapon. There we go. Yeah, even even at level zero, this thing is awesome. Look at them all. Now there is some gas in here. Thank you to whoever it was that told me that uh, you can actually use V to check a vehicle. I did not know that, and it's extremely useful. But we actually got half a can out of that, which is excellent, meaning... Uh, I want to go to McCoy... But all we can do now is sit around and pray, really. I really don't like that I am sick from that food, otherwise otherwise I would know more definitively. Oh, this is terrifying. There's anxious, but like does that mean that we're dying or does it mean that uh does it just mean that we need a cigarette? I basically created the perfect storm where I have no idea what's happening to me. Our queasiness has subsided, so that's a pretty good sign right away. However, it doesn't mean much. I mean, we haven't been scratched for all that long. And even though it's only a 25% chance to actually infect us with the zombie virus, I've played enough XCOM to know that those are not good odds in my favor. Oh, I can actually wash my clothes in here. Okay, well, let's wash myself. Okay, today we're taking a bath. A freezing cold bath, but hey, if those swimmers can do it, so can I, right? Oh, look at us all squeaky clean for the first time in weeks. 
Uh, that might actually, yeah, I can certainly see why my character is getting hypothermic very quickly. I mean, I am walking around in the winter wearing wet clothes after all. And they're about to be dirty clothes again, but you know, the important thing is that we had a few moments of fun. Let's put some dry ramen noodles into the pot. There we go, and we'll keep doing that for as long as we can. I'm not sure how long until we deplete the dry ramen. Uh, maybe we should have, maybe we should have purified the water first, but uh, it should be fine. <laughs> I love how we can add beer to the soup. That's hilarious. So that's going to start cooking. It doesn't actually do that much for us, unfortunately. And so I suppose we might as well just enjoy a beer. How many calories is the most? A beer bottle, 170. You know what? I'll take it. I'm going to be inside for the rest of the day anyway, so I might as well... And now, although things are looking somewhat more promising, on the night of December 28th, just a few days before New Year, we go to sleep knowing full well that we might not wake up. My god, that is such a relief, you have no idea. I, I would have been so angry with myself because me getting that laceration was honestly entirely my fault. I, I knew how dangerous it was going in there, and I could even hear zombies. A general rule of thumb is you never enter a structure if there are any zombies outside whatsoever. But I just went for it because I was like, hey, a full garage, and eh, after a couple seconds, these guys aren't coming out to get me, maybe they won't. Now, I'm actually real worried about what we're going to find at McCoy, uh, because we've been away from it for about three days, which means that respawns should have begun. And that's potential for real trouble when we arrive. Yeah. These woods are very dangerous, as always. And it is a particularly cold day. So, the odds are kind of against us here, especially if those respawns are back. However... However, I've got a good feeling, and I know I've got to do this. That was hilarious. I love how the music just kind of like stopped short when the last one died and then changed tracks. Or long blade, which means that uh, we'll be able to start killing quite a bit more efficiently. And unlike the crowbar, we can repair uh, the machete with tape which we have plenty of. Still some combat to do, but hey, a clear McCoy. Well, that's good for the whole world. I don't know if uh, striking an enemy with a helmet with such a weapon... Nope, it causes no problems at all. Uh, Horus Barnes would be so proud. The machete is quite a formidable weapon, even with level one. One of you has got quite a curious device on your back. Which of you was it? Ooh, an MP5 with a magazine. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I hate crawlers. They don't work well. Um, okay, well, maybe we'll take that with us. Now let's just fill her up. We have the keys. I know it already has some gas in it. So we can do that. Open up your hood. And, oops, we accidentally closed it because it was already open before. And let's start with that battery replacement. Now, where is it? A uh, battery... Let's uninstall. Good thing I didn't have to do this quickly. And heavy... Oh no, it's a heavy duty battery! Uh, okay, well... That's alright, we have all we need to get a regular car going, we just need keys then. I do wonder if we couldn't maybe just like jump it somehow and start charging up a bunch of batteries, but... I don't think that's how it works. Okay, so a regular car battery will go in the back. And we'll just put the dead one in the back of this. Wow, I was trying to break the window and it broke the metal bar. Oh, there's actually a V command to smash it. All right. Oh, let's get in. Do you have a key? No, of course you don't. Ooh, an axe. That's not a bad thing to have at all. Well, I guess that's some reason for us to have come all the way out here. So, after all that, we still can't ride our way out of here. 
because there's no way, I think, to charge one battery off of another battery, which means we have to walk back through those woods again. Oh, this game pisses me off so much. Well, the neck pain is finally caught up to me from sleeping on a bench. <laughs> I was really, really worried when I saw that Moodle, but thankfully that's nothing to really worry about. The way I see it right now, there's only one way I get myself in a car, and that's going to be to grind my way up through some, uh, through some mechanic skill and some electronic skill. And the way that I'm going to do that is going to be by collecting watches and disassembling them. Now, thankfully, these uh, digital watches do seem to be pretty common on all these zombies, and, well, there are plenty of bodies around, that's for sure. But in the meantime, I think I am going to have to shelve this whole idea. Oh, well, I can at least wear this beret. One threat that I'm actually running into is that when it's snowing like this, it can actually be kind of hard to see the road and where I'm meant to be going. It actually does obscure landmarks in that way. But it seems I'm going to have to walk through the forest of death once more. I really don't like coming in here because every time I do it, there's just more and more of them. I should probably start doing the public service of, like, removing some of them. Problem is, you really don't want to fight in here because, you know, you can get blindsided at any time from any angle. So you really want to keep moving. It makes clearing this out easier said than done. And you really have to do it really only from either end of the forest. I'm really kind of hoping that some of what's milling around out here is what I brought through last time I came through the forest. In which case, they'll have condensed themselves a decent amount, but man, this panic just makes the machete so much worse. Something that's really causing me problems now, actually, is how dark it is during the winter. It's making it hard to, like, see. Like, it's making there be less contrast, and I can't tell what I'm looking at. Oh, nope, don't you try and get some bites in on me. I'm glad I paralyzed that one by pushing it over. I'm glad that's a thing that can happen in this game. How crazy is that? And there goes the machete. Can we repair it? Uh, we can. Sort of. <laughs> Not while we're moving. The important thing is that there's just less of them out here. I mean, of course a cluster in the trees is more dangerous than individuals, but I don't think we're ever going to really be rid of the individuals. And even if we do, there's not going to be any way to know that we have. Like I said, I cannot really fight in here. It is too dangerous. And as we can see, there is still a whole, whole lot back here. Thankfully... And now, by the light of the fire, we can begin the long road towards getting up our electronic skill and our, uh, what was the other thing, uh, mechanic skill. And that's what we need to do to be able to hotwire cars. As soon as we can hotwire a regular car that's around here, then we'll be able to gas it up, put the battery in, and finally get ourselves on the road. Let's take a gamble on opening up a can. Will we hurt ourselves? Yes, we did. It's like every time. It's honestly to the point of being ridiculous. Well, it is New Year's Eve. And... Oh, hey, I've just realized... Uh, wow, we're actually losing a dangerous amount of weight, but look. We've crossed the threshold. Jesus Griffiths had directly killed more than 1,000 zombies. And it's going to have to be another one because I can still hear that one banging on the door down below. There you are. I am now, like, absolutely horrified by the thought of eating any more rotten food after the scare we got before. But I'm also equally as horrified. So that's the dumb thing. I actually have, like, a cabinet stocked with food. I'm just so afraid to eat it, which is such a ridiculous position to be in. I'm going to continue exploring the neighborhood as well as trying to, uh, cheese my mechanic level up. Just wish I had a book for it. Look at this. Look at this. This is just immediately outside my base. This is what's immediately outside my base. This is out of control. We can grab this bulletproof vest, and that'll give us some protection on the torso, at least. But yeah, I'm to the point where I don't even really know what to do. I mean, if we look at our skills, like, even leveling up is just so agonizingly slow. 
even in a normal playthrough, and I definitely did this on the Raven Creek playthrough, I would put it up to like two or three times normal because it's just such a grind otherwise. Let's actually have a look at how long this would take. So like every handful of zombies, we drop an electrical watch, right? But if I look here, our electrical skill only goes up. I've disassembled eight, half an XP. Half an XP point. So we would need to do 150 watches just to get level one. And on a regular playthrough, like, it, it would be doable as, like, a longer-term goal, but I can't have long-term goals. I need solutions right now. I mean, look at my weight. Like, I could try foraging, but I can't eat any of the food that I find through foraging. Literally, the only recourse I can think of right now is to maybe grab my trowel and start digging for worms. Which, since I don't have to care about my guy's happiness, that might honestly be the play. It's not like I'm going to be able to scavenge this neighborhood anymore, because everything's already respawned. So the cheese way to level up mechanics is to just uninstall and reinstall the lights. But I don't think it actually works unless you have a bunch of cars, because I don't think it'll count the same ones twice, right? Uh, this is the kind of thing that takes forever, even with, like, the two or three times XP. What did, what did all that get us? What did all that get us? 1.5, and we need level 2. This dog food is actually pretty high ca calories, so let's try opening that, I guess, and probably slice our hand open in the process. No, hey, we actually managed that one. All right, well, that should help at least a little bit for a little while. It makes us very unhappy, but eh, at least it's nutrient-rich. Who wants to stay up and watch the ball drop? Eh, whatever this game's representation of the next 10 minutes is, I suppose. I'm not sure how quickly that'll actually progress. And there we go! Happy New Year! Here's to another lousy millennium. In about six years. I believe we're entering into 1994 now. But yeah, I'm just... Whether I try for short-term goals, long-term goals... It's like there's just nothing I can do. Even burning, like two days worth of burning gets me like one day worth of scavenging in a very small area. It's not sustainable. Just nothing I can do. Even if I try grinding mechanics on the car outside, well, I can only do so much in a day. I think the way it works is you can get XP for one part one day. So tomorrow I'll be able to get another like two and a half XP off of the headlights. But that's it. And there's not too many other cars around where I can safely do this with. Still losing weight, still have food, but I'm honestly at this point considering the meta strat of like, can I just, you know, get cuts on both hands and then I can't get more cuts? Could that be a thing? Would that work? Game, tell me if that would work. I guess we might as well sleep. I mean, at least we got that shorter term goal of making it to New Year. How long have we actually been alive? 22 days, 20 hours. It'll be 23 by the time we wake up. So I guess that's three weeks and change survived. There goes the fire and our temperature rapidly dropping. Now I think the way this works is that the denser the woods, the more likely we are to find something. Uh, for example, like a corkscrew, I suppose? Now, I don't know if we get XP by just, like, I don't know, being here? Or if we get it when we find things. Either way, getting that level up would be nice. Haven't really found any relevant books. Or actually, I have, just not in the skill levels that I need. But I'm basically just going to start doing this as I go through now, since I can still keep a lookout for zombies for the most part. But my goal right now is going to be to head back to that original neighborhood. It's the only neighborhood that's, like, sparse enough. And I am still, still, how many hours of playtime? Still looking for a can opener. Ah, we got 5 XP for whatever this is. But what is it? Ah, Hunter Magazine. Okay, well, I suppose we'll take that. I don't know what it actually does! But it got us a good amount. Oh, we actually get more for picking stuff up. Ah. I'll tell you what, I'm actually starting to come around on this foraging thing. I haven't really had much time because of the dangers of the forest, but, uh... 
Well, I'm a little bit more confident now, and it's quite a bit more reward than grinding out two and a half XP of mechanics a day. Nope, almost got me. Not today. Hey, look at all this diamond and gold jewelry I just foraged. I'm the best at this. Yep. Wow, look, that, that's how we know we're close. These fires are still burning. That's wild, and some of these zombies as well, which means we're going to want to take care to avoid them. But as usual, nothing, nothing, and more nothing. Ooh, wait, mel melted ice cream? I mean, I don't know how ice cream can be rotten, but I'm going to eat it. Uh, this stuff used to be the meta. If this kills me, it's worth it. This, I believe, is actually... Hmm. What kind of place is this? A book? Rubber band? Okay. Uh, uh, it's so dark. It's so dark I shouldn't be here. Some ripped sheets. I'll take those. What's the building next door? Because I could swear I remember this being like a food place. I can get some water from that thing. Yeah, now, any any groceries and such will be long spoiled, but maybe I can get myself, like, tools. Tools. Okay, why not? I was thinking I could maybe get myself some, like, chips or something, but maybe it's just not meant to be. Uh, watering can, cabbage seeds. Look at me, uh, the absolute clown grabbing this stuff as if I'm ever going to use it. Butter and margarine, eat, eat. Eat up. I don't care how full you are, we need those calories. And at this rate, we're probably sleeping here tonight. But it's honestly... I think the way to go is going to be to come down through here. Because even days later, there haven't been very many respawns near the trailer park. Eventually, we're going to hit more neighborhood, but maybe we can get something done. Yeah, this is, this is where we find our calories. And we can finally start getting our weight up just a little bit. There's also rice here, which is going to be really, really good to boil. Yeah, we're definitely spending the night. Um, now, question is, what else is down here? There's a house over there. Here we are, getting sick from that ice cream we ate. And if I shall die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Oh, I actually don't have the option of sleeping right now. Eh, not that I would have much choice anyway. Where did you come from? Uh, we definitely want to keep exploring this area. And keep collecting these things, because honestly, if I'm not going to starve to death, I might as well at least start planning for some of these long-term goals, even if they're not likely going to happen. Now the question is, south or west? I'd like to check out that house, but I don't know what I'll be able to get out of it. Maybe I can pick some of what's in that garden? You know, it's just occurring to me, actually, before this series, for as annoying as it is, it is showing me a lot of aspects of the game that I've never actually seen before. I've never seen snow in this game before this series. They've kind of changed the spawn rates now, but there was a time where, like, hand axes were the way to go, just because there were so many of them. I mean, they would literally spawn on, like, every other zombie. It was ridiculous. Sadly, those days are long past. After killing a whole bunch of them, I can still hear more. Oh, how, how crazy would it be if I could actually get this vehicle moving? Oh, well, it's heavy duty. Oh, there was so much hiding just behind this thing. I'm actually going to leave you for now and check the grounds, because trying to climb in there right now is, well, it's a good way to get my head lacerated again. And I do not enjoy it when my head gets lacerated. Oh, wait! Oh, look! There's actually a rain collector barrel already out here! Okay, that's useful, so that's just a constant source of water, then. May even be worth making an outpost here. Um, more of you inside. Let's get a look at how many. Oh, I can't see from here. It's no good. Alright, let's, uh... Let you out. Oh, we can actually, oh my god, I think we can actually harvest this stuff. That is so great. What's not great is how we're exerted and things just keep coming over to us. Okay, 
we need you to be dead yesterday. Uh, look at us, we are severely depressed. Good thing we've got some books right here. That actually will help us a lot. Uh, maybe it would be worth it to get our tailoring up. Uh, we've got some food here, food that'll cut us up. But honestly, at this point, I'm just going to have to start ripping more sheets and not worrying about it. I think that's the way I keep my weight up at, at this stage. Uh, but a lot of good things are spawning here, which uh, suggests good things about this house. It's in good shape. The windows are, for the most part, not broken. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good spot. Now, what can we do about the stuff out here? Can we harvest this? Maybe find anything in the shed? What happens if we try and harvest this? It may not be in good shape to eat. Uh... Broccoli fresh! It's all fresh! Oh, fresh vegetables, thank you. And we get some seeds out of it as well. Okay, well, we'll eat it all. Hopefully it'll get our weight up. We can't see how many calories, but it can't be a bad thing, right? It's not sustainable, but it is good for us. So many ups and downs in this series, huh? So many moments of despair. Don't you break that! Oh, that's weird. It's actually treating it as like a player construction able to attack it like that. I didn't know you guys could do that with objects in the environment. Okay, well that's got to be stopped because that's a good source of water. How many dozens of zombies have I killed trying to take this house? 1,165, so it's at least 100 killed since yesterday and most of them are going to be right here. Truly ludicrous zombie spawns. I honestly can't believe when I read that it's about four times uh, regular spawns. It seems like it's way more than that. I'm not going to start hoarding this stuff and taking it with me because I have no way of keeping it refrigerated. I don't think it's ever going to go bad if I leave it in the ground like this because it's part of the map, so I'm just going to leave it. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of them moving in the fog down on the bottom right. Uh, but I'm going to leave that for now. I think at this point, I'm going to probably head back with my rice. Yep, there's just so much so often. And call this just a big win. Ah, we've got a battery. We can put that in our flashlight and regain some of our control of the night. And a magazine. Stop it, you. I don't have time. There is a neighborhood directly next door, actually, and maybe we could explore it. I'm just worried about bringing more stuff back here. And there goes our machete this time for good, I'm afraid. Okay, stomp, stomp, and okay, 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 game. Sure, why not? What did that do to us? It scratched our hand. Well, it's not like we're not used to that. Oh wow, I've just realized that foraging actually takes up exertion. That seems kind of dumb when picking up normal stuff doesn't take that. Especially if there's to be things around. I don't know what we do with a stone at this point. I mean, I'll take it. Actually, can't we use it to do stuff like make uh, rock tools, like a rock axe? Uh, apparently I can use a stone to open cans? Okie dokie, is that better than using a knife? Alright, but I'm not going to do that right now. What I want right now is nothing more than to get this rice going. We really, really, really need to uh, arrest that rate of uh, weight loss. Actually, we can even gain weight on this. And that will be the biggest win of the episode by far. Oh, look, some beta blockers, finally. And of course, we'll have to use those sparingly. This is what I have to do just to get water. It's like... Nothing I'm doing is even making a difference on the local population, even just around my base. Why not just do a little bit of foraging on the way back? Ooh, uh, what is this? Chipped stone. Okay, we'll have to start looking at some of our recipes, but I think we're actually getting pretty close to leveling up our foraging. Uh, yeah, close enough. Another 14 XP will do it. So I'm starting to realize that you get more depending on what you find. Probably more rare finds get you more XP. Oh, we found ourselves a bush. And not that I have any idea what I can do with Winterberry. 
But I guess we might as well get that stuff. And we've leveled up our foraging, which presumably will give us the ability to spot things at larger distances, maybe find better things. I truly wish I knew if I could eat these or not. Oh, but now it just calls them unknown berries. Hmm. Oh my god. 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 That's all right here. Oh my god. That's all right here. Oh my god. That's all right here. Did they see me? Did they see me? I have no idea. If if they saw me, I'm going to have to jump out the back window and break my own leg. Oh god, please no. Oh god, please no. All right, let's put the container in the stove. All right, let's light this thing. It seems at this point like they're not going to come for me. Uh, enough to burn for 14 hours. That'll just have to do. And let's have ourselves a good read while we wait for all this stuff to boil off. Actually, uh, that stuff will boil off pretty quickly. And we can just grab these here uh, rice packets and start making ourselves a nice stew. Oh, we so deserve this. After everything we've been through, we so deserve this. And we're starting to lose weight again, so it's got to happen now. That right there is not enough to arrest our rate of uh, hunger. Which means we're actually going to have to eat this raw. Well, we're going for it. We're just going to have to do it. As much as it sucks. Because we need those calories. We are now stuffed. We are going to read a book to try and fight off this crippling depression. I guess we'll go back down into that neighborhood where we found the house with the farm, but honestly, this is starting to become so tedious to play because, you know, I enjoy zombie media because of the combat, because of the looting and the scavenging. But I find survival games, I think I mentioned this in the Long Dark video, I find survival games to be so unbelievably, they just bore me to tears. Because you have to do all this just to tread water. And it feels like this is even worse because not only are we just treading water, but it's just constantly dangling actual progress in front of my face. But there's just always some reason why I can't actually make it happen. And because of that, it's taking longer and longer to record these things. It's just, uh, it's becoming hard to actually make this into an entertaining video. So I've just had a closer look at the Steam page for the Can Opener mod and came across something very interesting and really pretty stupid. So basically, in this mod, if we use a tool that's covered in blood to open a can and then eat that food, we have a chance of getting poisoned. Which is fine, that makes sense. I had read that when I installed the mod and I knew about it, and we haven't been at risk of that happening because, well, I haven't been using knives for combat. But here's the problem. I started reading the comments to try and figure out, like, what would happen if I used a stone. But the comments pointed out a huge oversight, which I didn't even consider. Basically, if you have a knife, it will default to that knife. And it doesn't let you choose which one either, so if you have multiple, which one are you using? I don't know. And it really makes me worried, like, if I had had strength level 7, would it have defaulted to the machete? Because that definitely would have killed me. I don't know, that's horrifying to think about, and I'm definitely going to be uninstalling this mod as soon as possible. Now, apparently you can disable uh, poison entirely in the mod settings, or rather through the sandbox settings. But this is CDDA, I don't have that option. Something I've also realized I really should do is use a sheet rope out the back bathroom window. Now, I kind of don't want to make the noise right now, but I guess we could try it. Uh, I would need two sheet ropes, I think, to come down from here. Unfortunately, I don't really have any clothes that I'd like to rip up. Oh, no, we have lots of rip sheets. Uh, but we can't make it from the rip sheets. We need just regular sheets. There we go. Just read a book. And now we've gone from severely depressed to just a tad weepy. It seems like that big group is moved off. I think I actually really should look for, uh... Look for the watch that's in here, yeah, and just dismantle that right away. I mean, I need the XP anyway, but if you're gonna be if you're gonna be attracting a whole bunch right outside the base every night, that's gonna be a huge issue for us. By the way, I love how this game actually sort of like forces urban and suburban like navigation on you. 
coming up with shortcuts, knowing the best way around. I mean, that's kind of what happens when uh, time is a resource. One interesting detail that I actually just read on the uh, Project Zomboid subreddit, oh, there's a lot here, uh, is that uh, I've always thought it was really weird how like brutally cold the winter is in this game. But apparently Kentucky actually had like a historically cold winter in this year. So that's kind of interesting to note. Now look, we can actually move through our former home as a means of evading zombies. I don't know how effective it will be, but we should have lost the huge crowd that we just uh, went by. I'm not going to do it now for weight reasons, but at a certain point, we are actually going to want to start grabbing these leather jackets to cut up if we decide to look into the tailoring skill. Because attaching leather strips to our clothes uh, will actually be a great protection against bites and scratches, even for uh, clothing that wouldn't normally do it. Ooh, beef jerky. <laughs> Excellent. That also actually gets us... I don't know why those models keep glitching out like that, but that buys us a decent amount of, well, everything we need. We can even get ourselves a nice bandana. There we go. We are looking good once more. We keep losing all our headwear. Spending a lot of time just kind of waiting for my, uh, for my strength to come back. Uh, I feel like I'm exhausted, like, all the time in this playthrough. Underweight probably doesn't help with that, but I can't get it up. Look at this. Look at what's around here. This is a trailer park. Uh, hey, there's like actually a motel or something here. Not that I can actually do anything with this. This would actually require another fire just for this. Oh my god, what a waste of time this has been. You know what? It it's extremely clear at this point that even in the sparsest areas, scavenging just isn't going to happen. It just isn't. So at this point, the only thing I can think to do... I mean, look, it's 40 degrees right now. Might have something to do with the forest fire we're next to, but I'm assuming not. We just make a run for the farm. We make a run for the farm with the well. We'll have basically infinite water, lots of land, maybe a lot of zombies to clear out. But we'll just have to do it. Except that there's going to be no scavenging. Start trowling for worms. And hope we can make something out of that. Because I, at this point, it's becoming so tedious to play this. And I'm so tired of spending hours and hours recording this for no reward. I mean, of course, we could do the same thing at this farm. But the problem then uh, is water. I suppose there is an argument to be made that it's worth it just because we can stay relatively close. And we could always keep making trips to that pond, but uh, it's just, I hate to come back here. It feels like we're backsliding so much. But I really want to hear from you and some of you veterans, what's the best way to go about this? Because over there, I'll have infinite water, and as it starts to warm up, I can maybe, like, you know, really lean into farming and foraging. The only problem is I would need that antique oven. And I'm not carrying it all that distance. It's just not going to happen. The only way I think I get an oven over there is with a car, but I don't know how to get a car because everything's dead. Everything needs gas. I don't have keys for anything. It would take absolutely forever to get our skills up, and we just don't have time. And it's very obvious we've got to get going. I just don't know which direction. But I'll have to leave that up to you. Until then... If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. Wait! Wait! This thing has a key in it! This thing has a- hang on! Mmm! 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 So you're telling me if I put a battery and some gas in this thing? Okay, hang on. Wait, this, is, this episode's not over yet. Ooh, this uh, satchel contains our rotten peanut butter sandwich. I guess I'll take it. Uh, the things, the things I do when I'm losing weight. 
siphon gas from you, one whole bunch of zombie killing later. That should get us, like, at least half a tank, or, like, most of it. Come on, come on, come on. And that's it. That's all we need. And it is time for us to split. Die. And die. Come on, one more. One more. We only need one more. Right this way, sir. Yep, through. I'm not going to risk you knocking me over now. Come on. Die. Die quicker. And the rest of you we don't care about because this moment of triumph is compounded by yet another as Jesus Griffiths gets his 1,337th kill. That zombie just, like, change character models or something. That was kind of weird looking. Oh, Jesus, what I was always... Oh, look at all this. Look at all this. Look at all this right outside my base. What is going on with the spawns right now? Okay, all this is going to have to be lured away. Of course this would happen. Look at this. Utter insanity. It seems like the local populations are completely random every time I come here. Light it, light it, light it, light it. There we go. We may not have a lot of time to do this. And the fire is out, because that was all we had. There were no logs in it. So we've just got to lead them through each other, which is easier said than done. <sighs> Look at that. Our salvation engulfed in flames. Now, thankfully, at this time, fire does not actually damage vehicles. But with all these stragglers coming, it's seeming like we're going to have to keep this self-sustaining for a while. The, the campfire went out a long time ago. This is literally 100% held up by the burning dead at this point. And because we're so tired, our perception is crap, meaning we can't really see them at all. Unless they're, like, right directly in front of us. It's kind of annoying that zombies don't count as their own light source when they're on fire. But when it gets brighter, that means that actually that more of them are dying in kind of a helpful visual indicator. Because it means that they die and become their own pyre. And you're down, that's the last of them. And now what we are gonna do is sneak up the stairs, probably sleep until noon, and then get this car running again in the morning as soon as we possibly can. Assuming they don't just swarm in here and kill me while I'm asleep. Well, it's not quite noon, but close to it. Now we have the key, we have the gas, now all we need is that battery, which we can find right here. So let us uninstall the old battery, install the new one, uh, okay, 100%. And there we go, remaining 89.8%, so that is working correctly. Uh, we can drop the other one because we don't need it anymore. We can also narrate the entire process, because it is so exciting after all this time. Full can of gas can go in the tank. Uh, yeah, just think about how far all that gas can carry us. Now we get in the driver's seat. It may be beat up, but it's in fairly good condition. Excuse me, you're ruining a very exciting moment for me. No, you can cannot come with. Now that the parking lot is clear, again, sit in the seat and moment of truth. She lives. Uh, this has been an incredibly hard won battle at every single step of the way. Harder than it should be, but, well, I guess that's the point of the challenge. Well, this looks like a good place to stop it, and, well, I've already given my outro before, but, uh, well, you know the drill. It seems to me at this point that we are definitely going to become nomads. But nomads where? Hard to say. 
I think we will end up anchoring ourselves out of that farm with the infinite water, but beyond that, I'm not really sure where else to look. But as always, I would love to hear your advice in the comments. And as always, I will see you in the next one.